Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. We're back here in my backyard because guess what? We have one of the most talked about cars, period. Let alone a sports car, but the most talked about car right now for 2020, going into 2021, it is the C8 Chevrolet Corvette. And of course, as you can see, we have a convertible. But before we get into this new drop top mid-engine Corvette that's changing the name of the game, Let's talk a little bit about Corvette history. All started back in 1953. Now what's interesting is that it's kind of cool that we have a convertible because remember, that first generation of Corvette C1 from 53 all the way to 62, they were all convertibles. If you ever see a hard top on a first gen Corvette, that is a removable hard top that you actually take off and put on in one piece. So kind of fitting that we have a convertible and what's Really interesting about this C8 Corvette, not only it being mid-engine, but it's also the first Corvette to have a convertible folding hardtop. All the convertibles before this period of time that we're currently in have been soft top convertibles. Now, what Chevrolet is saying is that, guess what? You could have your drop top fun and you could still have ultimate performance because not like in the past, when you go the convertible route, you're only adding about 100 pounds of weight. Crazy to think that the true father of the Corvette, Zora Duntov, was waiting for this very moment since the 1950s because he was the one that not only brought a V8 into the Corvette, because remember the first two years of the Corvette was what was called a Blue Flame 6. That was the name of it. It's called the Blue Flame 6. It was a straight six, six-cylinder engine, naturally aspirated. Wasn't really much of a sports car, but boy oh boy, since he put the V8 in and now we have the mid-engine just like he wanted to do for years and years. This is at a point where the Corvette is at the top of the heap when you're looking at supercars and also sports cars. So let's go ahead, let's dive into this 2020 Z51 equipped convertible and find out first of all, is it truly, is it really the best convertible Corvette ever? And is it really one of the best convertible sports cars going into the supercars. Let's find out. Right off the bat, the style. We have Rapid Blue once again. We did the Rapid Blue Coupe. I'll leave that link at the end of this video if you haven't seen it. Now we have the Rapid Blue convertible. This is a 3LT, so we're talking about all the goodies, and we have the Z51 package. Now when we start at the front of the business, this is my favorite part hands down. When it comes to a CA Corvette, this is as good as it gets when it comes to what I'm liking on this car. When we look at the headlight design, I think the designers hit the nail on the head with the overall shape of it. Remember, C7, that last generation of the front engine Corvette, you could see some crossover there with how they were taking that style and making it fresh, making it new. You have those two dripping, sloping daytime running lamps, LED, LED headlight, Everything else is blacked out on the interior. Of course, we have LED turn signals as well. Now, when you drop down, you can see how they really did some great aero work on the front fascia. You have these massive air intakes. Now, this part here, looking good, like almost like its own splitter. This was actually required by the Department of Transportation for pedestrian safety. So if you're gonna hit somebody crossing the road, this is supposed to stop them, I guess, from going into that open vent, but you have wide, Open air is gonna flow into the coolers, and then because we have the Z51 equipped package here, you're gonna have that additional front splitter that's been added, not only to give it some extra look, but of course to give us more downforce. Now, as we come across the center, very, very stealth fighter-esque going on here, and I dig that. I mean, growing up into the 80s, into the 90s, when the stealth fighter came out, I mean, the lines on it, very angular. You could see how they have that design. You have the classic cross flags, the checkered flag and the Chevrolet bow tie flag. Go look at that 1953 Corvette. Same overall setup, but of course they've changed over the years. And that's what I love about the Corvette. It's about not only moving forward with technology and performance, but also having some of those design cues. I'd like the way they have the Corvette name comes to a point right here. This is that carbon flash metallic. So it's not really gloss black. It has a metallic tinge to it and you're gonna get full functional aero. Our particular one has the lift system, the optional lift system. So what that means is 
from behind the driver's seat, and I'll show you when we get to the business end, you press a button, it'll raise and lower, and then of course, you could actually save that location in the GPS. When we rise up onto that front mounted trunk, you have storage space. So the designers had a tough task of not only keeping the identity of the Corvette, now that the nose is much shorter, but also making it usable. So you're gonna have a ton of usable space underneath. Love all the angular cuts and everything. I think that really just brings out that overall style. And then when you come around the bend, you're gonna have a plethora of different wheels to choose from. Now, here is the wheel that we're working with on our particular Rapid Blue, and I think this is the wheel I would go with. I like the way they hollowed out each of the spokes, and then you have that machine finish all the way around, 19 inch wheel up front, that's 245 on the width, 35 series sidewall, and we are wrapped in those Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tires. Now, I mentioned Z51. When you go Z51 package, you're getting a little extra horsepower, just a little bit, five extra horsepower, but you're gonna be getting these nice, large Brembo six piston calipers. Love the Z51 branding right there with the Corvette name. You're also gonna get larger rotors and the magnetic ride suspension. We have that optioned in as well. That's really gonna give you that ultimate when it comes to handling performance. Now, one thing to be aware of, which I just recently found out, is that believe it or not, the top speed on the Z51 is actually a little lower than on your standard Corvette. We'll get more to that in a second when we get to the engine, which it's gonna be a little different on this convertible that we have. Now, when we go down the side, you can see those beautiful angles, side mirrors, car, they're, they're covered in that carbon flash metallic. Look at how they did the turn singles. Slim and trim, LED style. Now, you can option to get color matching mirror caps and other parts. There's a lot of different ways on the new C8 Corvette Chevrolet was smart. They took a page right out of Porsche's playbook and gave you lots of ways to personalize your Corvette. Now, the side of it, I think, with the convertible top down is spot on the money. It has that Spider Speedster look. So it looks like a McLaren 570S Spider, but also has that Speedster S to it. You can see how we have the carbon flash metallic, the way it flares out into that flared out rear fender. This is functional to bring cool air for that engine, obviously. And then down below, I love the flat black side sill extensions and the way everything carves out nicely as we get towards the rear. I'm gonna show you real quick. I'm not gonna let you inside yet, but you can see how that top piece goes with the door and the rest of it stays on the back portion of the vehicle. And then it closes so nicely. Another little fun fact, if you're gonna do Corvette Jeopardy, on the C8 Corvette, when you're staring at it from the front, believe it or not, the passenger side mirror sticks out further than the driver's side mirror. The reason why is, is because of these big, sexy, wide fenders, it allows the driver to see past it instead of just looking at rapid blue. You have the carbon flash metallic on that rear Speedster spy, Spider cover, and that's the one zonk. I wish that the engineers would have been able to figure out a way to show some of that engine. You do have that rear venting for the cooling, but that's one of the things that I like on the coupe a little bit more than the convertible is you could actually see the heart of this C8 Corvette. Now, when we look out back, you're still gonna get, of course, Brembo calipers uh, out back, but you're getting a little wider tire. So rear wheel drive, you're gonna have 305s out back. The reason why we have a little wider tires to get the, obviously, traction to the ground. Up front, it's quicker steering. That's why you want a little narrow tire. In between these two rear wheels and tire setups, you're gonna have that transaxle. Remember, we have the transmission at the rear of the vehicle, but you're also gonna have some 373 gears and an electronic limited slip diff to help you get the power to the ground. As we wrap it out back, Z51 equipped, here is your carbon flash metallic rear wing. Like the style. And then one of the things that's growing on me a little bit more, because the other zonk for me is the tail of the vehicle. It just, it seems like a, a Camaro that's been stretched and smushed, but I am, these lights are starting to grow on me. Definitely LED style. Has that overall flavor of what a Corvette should look like from the back. We've moved away, since the C7 Corvette, we moved away from round and oval taillights. And that's kind of sad because I felt like that was a big, huge trademark. What I do like is the functional heat extractors out back to let that cool air come from the exhaust. And I'm, I'm actually digging that we went with quad tip exhaust again, 
little bit round squared appearance. They're staggered. We do have, obviously with the Z51 package, you do get the active performance exhaust. So you could, if you wanna keep the peace in your neighborhood, you could go quiet. Or if you just wanna let it rip and say the heck with everybody, let this C8 Corvette just sing. As we come around the center here, loving the Corvette script, the way they are taking that and putting that 21st century flavor to it. Love the wire mesh. This rear diffuser is just ridiculous. It looks almost like it's right off the C8R race car that won the IMSA WeatherTech GTLM championship for 2020. And then to wrap it off, I think from this angle, it's looking drop dead gorgeous. I just want to rub my hands. I almost want to jump up onto the car, but you probably don't want to see me do that. It'd probably look a little weird. I might get arrested, but the Stingray logo looking clean. You can see the venting here and the way, like I said, that spider speedster look is looking absolutely phenomenal. But while we go ahead, I want to show you where the engine is hiding in our C8 Corvette. All right, guys, time to talk about the engine. Now, what I did was I put the top back up and I stopped it to where the rear cover did not come all the way down. And this is why I'm zonking it. I wish there was just some way to see a little bit of the engine, but you're gonna see absolutely none of it. Underneath that plastic cover is going to be that Pushrod V8. Yes, still using Pushrod technology, but boy, oh boy, Chevrolet's getting the performance. 495 horsepower, because we have the Z51 equipped C8, 470 pound-feet of torque, it is made it to an eight-speed DCT that is all new for the Corvette and all new from Tremec, zero to 60 in a mind-blowing 2.8 seconds. Quarter mile is gonna blaze by at 11.2 at 122 miles per hour. It weighs 3,637 pounds in convertible form. And then MPGs, 15 in the city, 27 on the highway. And like I mentioned earlier, by going with the Z51 equipped package Corvette, you're actually going to be a little bit slower, 10 miles an hour slower than a base C8. Because what happens is, is that the standard C8 has a top speed of 194 miles an hour. With the Z51, you're getting the extra aero, the extra aerodynamic bodywork. That's great for downforce. But the problem is, as you increase speed, it increases drag. And that's why this has a top speed of 184 miles an hour. But even though we can't see the engine, we definitely are gonna be able to hear it. Let's fire up the C8 Corvette convertible and hear what it sounds like. guys we're inside the 2020 c8 corvette these are so rare these convertibles i mean a regular c8 coupe is rare these are even more rare but uh i know you're saying to yourself well joe as soon as i saw the c8 corvette it just spoke to me i i've always wanted a mid-engine sports car this one seems to be exactly the way i want it how much is it well just so you know going convertible automatically adds seven thousand five hundred dollars to the base price of a C8 Corvette. This one being 3LT optioned with Rapid Blue, with the goodies on the interior, and also the Z51 package, you're looking at MSRP right around $90,000. Let's see what you get for the money to the door panels. I love the way they spec this one out. Bringing the Rapid Blue to the interior with the navy blue, very classy. You got the contrast stitching, the Bose sound system with that beautiful aluminum grill speaker cover. You have two memory seat settings and you have a decent sized door pocket. You could probably get, I would say, a 7-Eleven hot dog. That's about it. No cup holders on the door panels. Now, when you get to the dash, the passenger has their own little separate compartment over there. Love the stitch work. What I, I don't love are the controls for the vents. They're plastic and they seem very flimsy and very cheap. So that definitely is a zonk, but the way they brought the brushed aluminum is fantastic. The blue, everything is soft touch. And then of course you have the big divide, that separator, everything being driver focused. It's not about the passenger. You have your row of switch gear, AC control. We have heated seats and ventilated seats. Once you get the hang of it, it really does make sense. And then you're gonna have that eight inch infotainment system. 
easy to use. The zonk is, I wish that it took up more of this dead space, a lot of dead area here. But the great news is navigation, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, beautiful swipe feature. We do have the performance data recorder on ours. And then of course we got cameras all over the place. And that's gonna make sure that you keep your Corvette, your C8 Corvette, beautiful, protected as you're going through tight spots, maybe a parking lot or whatnot. But you can see just how it would have been nicer to have that ability to have a little bit larger screen here. You got your aluminum start stop button. I like the way they used all the real estate and brought an AC vent here. And then you're gonna have your push pull transmission. This is gonna control that eight speed DCT lift system. Remember you have the lift system here that will raise and lower. You got your mode selector switch underneath this beautiful cover here for your palm with the Corvette logo. And then you open this guy, two cup holders, simple. You're not bringing drinks into my Corvette, so that's about that. And then as you work your way towards the back, we're gonna open up this center console cover. Maybe two Twinkies. If you go three, you're gonna score cream all over this beautiful interior. A USB-C, a USB, and an aux jack. Wireless charging. Your phone just slides right in. I love the way they have the center speaker here with the Stingray logo. And then my favorite part are these seats. It's the one piece back, carbon fiber. Look at the beautiful work that they did. The perforated center the bolstering both at the top and the bottom. And then while we're down here, here is your tasteful Corvette key fob. You flip it around, you got remote start, you can put down the top remotely. And then really the cherry on top of this blueberry pie is gonna be, we have rapid blue seatbelt. So like I told you, you could personalize this vehicle 20 different ways from Sunday and they really did it. And you have a navy blue Alcantara headliner for the convertible top. The level of fit and finish is mind blowing and the materials are out of this world. And we have our digital rear view mirror as well to top it off. So lots going on on the passenger side. Get your butt over here. I wanna show you behind the wheel of the C8 Corvette. All right guys, business time. I got a D-shaped steering wheel here and I'm in a C8 Corvette. You have the nice aluminum sill plate here with the Stingray logo, looking good. And then of course, seats. The bolstering is spot on the money. It could be a little bit higher on the bottom, but there is another option for the seat. You got full electric assist and then the steering wheel. Unique shape, that D-shaped steering wheel, flat on the bottom, flat on the top. You got the rapid blue stripe in the center, all leather. You can get Alcantara. Love the stitch work on the classy horn button. Speaking of buttons, this is probably the best button right here. Z for Zora, the father of the Corvette. You hit that and that puts everything into performance mode, opens up the exhaust. You have these massive metal paddles on the back of the wheel to go up and down that eight speed DCT transmission. We have a head up display that's configurable with different types of imagery. You could put a tack, you could put just shift lights. It's got a gear indicator. You could raise and lower it and then if you were a little worried, Joe, is there only eight inches? Yes, we got your 12 inches of visual pleasure as well. Check out that center display with the tachometer, the Corvette logo, looking so good. Oil temperature, all the readouts, they have really raised the game. I wanna raise something else. Let's raise the roof. Let me show you how the roof operation is in this Corvette, real simple. You're just gonna hit the button and the rest is all just music in motion. The button is right with the switch gear for your windows. One, two, three operation. It takes about 13 seconds and you could do it up to a speed of around 30 miles per hour. But as you can see, now we're ready to rock and roll. I wanna hear that V8 if you're ready. Before we do that though, let's see what kind of trunk space we have in the C8 Corvette. All right, guys, one of the things that, like I mentioned earlier, that the designers had an extremely hard time and the engineers was to keep that usability because we have now the engine in the middle in between the front axle and the rear axle, but we still needed to have that cargo space that Corvettes are known for. So what you do is you just look for the E, E stands for enter, you hit the button, lift it up, and then guess what? You have plenty of cargo space in the back. You can fit a full set of golf clubs in the back. That was one of their measuring sticks for the C8 Corvette. I personally don't know 
who's going to play golf, who's playing golf with their golf clubs. If I had a C8 Corvette, I wouldn't be putting golf clubs in. I'd be driving it all day long, but you have the back portion. And then guess what? If that's not enough space for you, we have the front mounted trunk, also called the frunk. And it's real simple. You just hit the rubber button right there, flashes, it pops. And now you could easily put a carry-on and a duffel bag up front, fully stored, fully protected from the elements. And here's a little tip. Some of you may be watching and you're right now crunching numbers and you're trying to figure out how am I going to get my significant other to, to want to get a C8 Corvette? Because the bottom line is everybody wants a C8 Corvette, but you got to prove that you need a C8 Corvette. So here's a little piece of advice from Rady's Rides to you. Showcase the cargo area. Let them know, hey, for the rest of your life, you will be going to the grocery store. You'll pick up the dry cleaning. You'll pick up the packages at the UPS store. Take the packages to the post office because you have that space and then it's a done deal. You could thank me and then just uh, enjoy that on throttle action. But speaking about on throttle action, if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's take this C8 Corvette convertible for a little spin. All right, guys, we're here. It's time to put the top down in our convertible C8 Corvette. Real simple, just hitting the button here on the switch and time for us to put the top down. Very seamless. And you know what? It's crazy to think that you're not gaining a lot of weight by going that speedster spy spider look to this vehicle. You do get a chime letting you know that you're good to go. The folding top is down. I have it in manual shift mode, and we're gonna pull out of here and have a little fun. Let me put up the side glass so that you can uh, hear me a little bit better, that's for sure. But uh, if you're ready, I'm ready. Are you ready? I hope so. Here we go. I'm proud of you! <laughs> Woo! Feeling good? Brakes feel great. that there is. With the side glass up, I got obviously everything else down. It, it's not a ton of turbulence. I'm six feet tall. The air is actually going over my head quite nicely. I would like a little bit more grumble, a little bit more rumble, especially because we're in a Z51 equipped, but definitely if you're going C8, you want to spend that five extra grand, go the Z51 option route because the suspension is amazing, that magnetic ride suspension, the extra braking capability, and to be honest with you, those Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tires are phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. It's a no-brainer. Taking the engine, putting it in the middle is gonna give you a better handling Corvette. Hands down. Very balanced. Having such a short overhang allows you to hit your marks so nicely as you're going through the twisty bits and that head up display is spot on. Now, these optional seats I think are well worth it. They hold you in nice, still feels comfortable. And the way that the rapid blue is brought to the interior, I'm actually digging it. It really feels like you're in something extra, extra special. All right guys, let's have a little bit more fun together. On throttle, yeah! <laughs>
this is what it's all about. I can cry all day long about how the Corvette is not front engine anymore, but you know what? Zora was right. That's why I have the Zemo button on because that mid-engine just balances everything out. It would have been cool for them to figure out a way to showcase the engine when the top is down or up, but I understand, but definitely the look of this vehicle is everybody just draws their attention just instantaneously. And the way that the brake, you're able to modulate the brake so well because the calipers are speaking to you. They're letting you know what those rotors and wheels and the grip levels doing. The transfer of weight is so smooth and seamless and just everything say, stays so rock solid, which allows you to feel confident, which allows you to push. And that's why this car is so lethal, so lethal. All right, guys, you deserve this. I deserve this. I want to share with you one more time through the twisty bits. This car is phenomenal. Yes, I would like a manual, but you know what? It does everything just so outstanding. But here we go. On throttle, yeah! <laughs> beautiful people we need to get back to our special location i hope you enjoyed this one i'll see you in a split second all right guys it's been another one of those amazing days i definitely want to thank kyle and the rest of the crew over at chevrolet for allowing radies rides access to this convertible rapid blue ca corvette there's no denying the performance of this vehicle the changes that they've made not only to the exterior, but also elevating that interior. The C8 Corvette is definitely that superstar, at least for right now, when it comes to a sports car. And I'm telling you right now, it's creeping into that supercar arena at a value price that's just unbelievable what they're doing when it comes to the value of the Corvette, which is America's true sports car. But if you wanna keep seeing Vehicles like these, like the C8 Corvette, leave a comment in the comment section. If you're new and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rise family. If you want to help us keep making great content just for you and the channel, click the link in the description. Get yourself some Radies Rise merch. Got to give it out to the queen of the camera. She's working out here in the Florida sun, working hard. Show her some love in the comment section. Thank you, Lori, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.